So I've been putting together a field kit for uh, just water solutions. And so I had a few thoughts on things I've tried, things that is just crap, things that I think work great that you could actually do for basically costing you money, you know, next to nothing. So I um, figured I'd throw a few things out here, you know, with the, uh, the GI canteen with the, uh, this is a painted Molly ACU pouch. So, uh, you know, the cat litter looking stuff. But this, it looks black on the camera, but this is actually kind of ranger green from the uh, Rust-Oleum stuff from Walmart. Worked out pretty good. So the GI canteens, if you can find them at a flea market or something, and you can usually get them for like three bucks, seven bucks. You know, Amazon, they want 10 bucks for them, for the most part. Um, let me see here. Another example, because I, you know, I don't like ACU, the color. So uh, I painted this one with some Rust-Oleum tan. And I think this has aged pretty well. I mean, it sort of cracks and stuff. But man, it, 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 it doesn't quite match the, uh, the, uh, like, coyote on a, uh, marine filby pack. But it, it's, it's in the range, you know. It wouldn't look real out of place on it. So that's cool. You know, they paint up well. That's what I'm saying. But the, uh, the deal that I have found that I really like, and this is attached to my, this woodland pouch, because I, uh, I took the uh, the chain, busted it off the back of the canteen, and uh, rigged it to the bungee cord on this pouch so my lid will stay on. But this is uh, a company called Goatland, and there's another seller called Ifranti. But when you order it, it still says Goatland on it. I don't even know what kind of name that is, but whatever. Um, kind of got the uh, wide mouth top to it, and it's got some uh, really good prominent threads. The cup is heavy duty stuff, so is the canteen. Stainless, I've cooked quite a bit in this already. And I just got a second one, but it's stuck in a bag right now. But, uh, you know, the, the handles work pretty good. I've had this on several fires, and it's it's doing what it needs to do. So uh, I like that. And uh, they didn't skimp out on the actual uh, that white part. is a good kind of softer, kind of durable, rubbery seal. And they didn't cheap out on that. It, it, this thing's freaking sick. Uh, you can pay 50 bucks for your Pathfinder canteen, or you can pay 20 for that. And honestly, like if you're buying one of these for a GI canteen, I should have just pulled that canteen out. But if you're looking for a regular just GI canteen cup, most places if they want, if you want steel on Amazon, you're gonna get, you're gonna pay 15 bucks for it to 20 dollars for this on Amazon and at most flea markets that I've seen. But it does fit the GI if you get it from that other company, that Affronti company or whatever. But it fits the GI fine. But the uh, the Goatland set with the canteen and the cup is twenty dollars. So you're probably better off just buying this, ordering you an ACU pouch for like four bucks off Amazon and spray painting. That's probably the cheapest deal I've found. And if you're really struggling for uh, cash, I mean, here's another. Thing. I want to bring this up. Do not buy these, these aluminum ones. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's, uh, you know, the, they're poisonous or whatever. <sighs> I don't even know. Could you drink enough water out of it to even poison yourself? Probably not. But the seals in the top suck. They're coming out. They're not They're not worth a crap. And I'd put an O-ring in there trying to fix that. But but the seals are all just, oh, I wish I had a light back there. But, dude, they ain't worth a crap. And these are made in Taiwan. I have another one made in Korea. And uh, one of them will hold water, but it's just like, you can't even clean them out very good. So there's like some sort of like crud in it that just keeps getting in the water you don't buy this unless you're like filming for a video or something for like some kind of cheap indie movie if you're a movie kind of guy but uh if you want this for field use do not buy these aluminum surplus they're freaking they're shit just end of discussion on that but if you really you know or if you're broke the uh gatorade bottle spray painted coyote tan i should have roughed it up because the paint will want to chip off so maybe do that if you want it to kind of stay a little better but uh and i have an arizona tea bottle you know the trayvon martin unit you know the trayvon canteen but uh those work pretty good and these these are like 32 ounces or close to they fit into like a 32 ounce like bottle holder you know and stuff like that's pretty cheap you can just order you like one of them seven dollar molly bottle holders and put that in that and basically you just buy your drink and keep the freaking bottle off of it but uh i think that's probably the most expedient usable stuff i have another thing i'm going to do a separate video on 
that uh, I'm digging. I'm kind of testing it out, and it's pretty freaking sweet. But uh, I'll save that for a different video. But uh, as far as canteens, don't buy the aluminum ones. The GI plastic ones are pretty awesome. But, uh, you know, just go with, like, the ACU patches and junk like that to get cheap stuff. If you're looking for budget items, this is this is my, I guess, uh, thoughts on budget canteen stuff. Just go with a $20 freaking steel canteen from Goatland. And i see if I can get this to show up on the... I've had this on several fires, but, uh, yeah, it's, it, it, yeah, it's Chinese, but it holds up. But for twenty bucks, don't spend, don't buy this for twenty bucks alone from Rothko. Just order the freaking steel canteen. You can use a, both of them to boil. You can put your canteen on the fire, you know, as well as the cup. So uh, I just think that's better than going and paying a bunch of money for uh, Dave Canterbury's marked up stuff that's also made in China. And there we go. I dropped it. Wake everybody in the house up. But budget solutions. I hope you guys got some uh, questions and thoughts, and and even maybe. Uh, other suggestions, you know, I keep looking for more stuff for, for different bags. I'm the kind of guy that will buy gear, so I have gear for friends of mine that I trust that, that might show up and, uh, you know, be one of those people that I, I feel I need to help. So that'll conclude the thoughts on canteens for this video, but I uh, just kind of wanted to check in and uh, let you guys know I'm still here. Still got some stuff in the pipeline. I've got uh, another ruck I'm going to do some... Uh, some stuff on just you know another build as far as that is with a uh, filthy pack so that'll be coming down the pipeline i'm putting that on an alice frame so we'll see how that goes i'll show you how i went about doing that and uh there'll be some other stuff coming out soon but it had been about a month since i posted the video and i just kind of wanted to say hey and uh let you guys know that i'm still here uh maccabeus everyday survival was uh talking to me he's like hey you've been on youtube what's going on you know just having just the holidays, financial stuff, and uh, car trouble and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm I'm still here. So uh, I'll try and get some more stuff coming out as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. And uh, by all means, if you got su suggestions on other canteen and cook stuff, leave it in the comments because I'm still looking around for that crap. You know, I'm still trying to build several different kits. So, uh, you know, have a good one, guys.